Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, Bambi by Two, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make that pretty little lady right there. So she's pretty much wall art with lighting in the back, so it makes like a perfect night light, especially good for kids. So I hope you enjoy the video. You will need a strip of LED lights, wood glue, pencil and a marker, a metal file, a battery pack, picture hangers, I got this in like an assortment, spray paint, a clamp or you can just use masking tape, batteries for the battery pack, connectors to connect the battery to the LED strips, a jigsaw and three quarter inch plywood. So I started off by drawing my desired shape on a plank of 3 quarter inch plywood. Ideally I wanted to find a shape online and just print it out and trace it but Danny was in a making mood so heading to the print store at 3am was not happening. That's Danny. <laughs> that, Danny's, Danny's girl looks like Kevin Spacey. So I spent about 20 minutes trying to draw this oblong headed thing and then I outlined it with a sharpie so it would be easier to cut. So actual woodworkers have proper tools and tables to use but not us because we absolutely had no idea what we were doing so we cut it out on a barrel in the garage with this jigsaw that I think is designed to do tight curves and like ish like that so at least we had some sort of tool that could work. Now we file and sand it to make it smooth. I then painted the back of the shape white. I did this so that it helps reflect the light when it is on the wall. Then we turned it over and spray painted it black and then let that dry. Isn't she a beauty? Mm. At this point, we had no idea what we were doing as per usual and we were just signing up in the wee hours of the morning in the garage in our pajamas contemplating on our next step. And then there was light. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we we're not going to the to the to the hardware store to get any extra pieces of wood. So we're gonna use any remaining wood that we had left over. So we're literally gonna be gluing like three pieces of wood together so it could be slightly thicker than the battery pack because we're doing a box to go behind the um, the head. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay, this is a battery pack. So one side, one side, and then one side. So it all depends on the size of your battery pack and the girl is gonna go like smack on it like that. So we actually glued here and here. And then we're gonna clamp it. If you don't have clamps, you can use masking tape and just like tape it so you like that. So this is what we came up with. This is how it's gonna be on the wall. Yes, it's gonna be far off the wall. If you could find a flatter battery pack, then by all means go and get one. But this one was the cheapest one we can find. It needs to be eight batteries for what we're using. Um, so there's this one that's um, four, and it's thin. So if you use, if you want something that's thinner, you have to get like eight, like that way. But we just wanted one battery pack, so we're not using this one because this is only four. We're gonna use the eight one. 
that has a double six. So it's gonna fit in like that after we glue it down. All right. So we drew the outline of our bootleg <laughs> crooked little three-sided box, and then we smacked some glue on that and the box and smooshed it together and left that to dry. It all depends on the size of what you what you are um, you're doing. Ours isn't too big, so we're gonna use. So they have like these huge ones here that you, I guess you use for bigger pieces. And then these ones that you can actually like screw into the wall and then just like, you know what I mean. Okay. So but we're gonna use so we're going to use two of these, one on either side of the box at the top and then two screws and the screws are going to go in like that and then it's going to hang. Then we got our LED lights and prepared to glue them down. The lights came with a sticky sided tape but because we were doing a weird shape and not a straight line, we had some puckers here and there that we secured with hot glue and E6000. Ensure the end of the LED light that is connected to the battery pack is lined up at a good position to connect to, well, the battery pack. Mm, yeah. One end of the connector plugs into the battery pack and the other end connects to the LED strip. When the hot glue and E6000 dried fully, then we added the little picture hanger thingies to the top of the box, like so. And then, yeah, you're done. Like, yes, yes. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? I can't sing for crap. I feel like this is like the perfect nightlight. Enjoy! Enjoy!